Nak cerita pasal pelvic floor muscle. So pelvic floor muscle ni dia daripada tailbone kita, our coccyx towards the uh, pubic region. So pubic is um, tulang pinggang kita macam tu kan. The pelvic floor muscle, the muscle can, dia macam buayan. Originate from here and then dia akan insert to the pubic lah. Pubic? Pubis. Pubis. Okay, the pubis bone. So, dari situ, dia akan support organ-organ yang dalam pelvic kita tu. So, contohnya macam uterus, rahim, our bowel, our intestines, our urinary bladder, our kita punya pundi kecing lah basically. So, kebanyakannya perempuan yang banyak kena pelvic floor muscle weakness sebab because of age, dah makin tua, you punya otot makin lemah. So, dari situ, akan ada prolapse lah. Kedua, pregnancy. You dua tiga kali bersalin uh, normally it might not show sign but imagine yang tujuh orang lapan orang anak bersalin normal it can have risk ataupun tendency untuk having weakness uh, on the pelvic floor muscle selalunya macam orang-orang yang kerja angkat, banyak angkat berat and that will actually cause weakness of the uh, pelvic floor muscle jugalah what are the signs and symptoms uh, to know if you have this problem the first one is incontinence incontinence maksudnya anything yang ada kena mengenai dengan buang air kecil ataupun buang air besar ada two types yang major major yang paling common the first one is stress the second one is urge urgency so the first one is stretch stretch incontinence is basically anyone yang macam terbatuk terbesin even though sikit dia akan ada build up pressure in our abdomen and dia terkucil. Terkucil maksudnya terkencing lah sikit. Ah, uh, So, situ that's one of the sign stress incontinence. Second one is urge incontinence, urgency. You rasa macam, oh syukir okay, aku betul-betul kena pergi toilet nak kencing ni. Macam dah 3 jam tahan. Dia punya urge tu sangat strong. But when you go to fast motion, setitik dua titik je. Ha, itu urge incontinence. Painful urination, you buang yang kecil and rasa sakit, rasa pedih. Keempat, uh, fecal incontinence which is tak tally lah. You rasa macam macam nak buang air besar pun. Macam betul-betul tak tahan. Tapi tiba-tiba macam sikit. Ha, can be fecal sebab bowel problem. The last one is pelvic organ prolapse. POP. POP. <laughs> Pelvic organ prolapse Maksudnya contoh yang uh, organ dalam pelvic tadi Ada uterus, ada pundi kencing Ada intestine, ada bowel So any one of this organ boleh prolapse Which means jatuh Basically uh, kalau orang Melayu cakap uh, Jatuh peranakan So it is, it happen, it is real Usually physio akan buat If dia akan tolong masukkan balik Manually ya Untuk naikkan balik lah kiranya And dari situ uh, akan minta tolong patient Supaya suruh tahan Macam nak kemut lah basically banyak je exercise kegels ni untuk strengthen kan this pelvic floor muscle is kegels so kegels is a very famous thing it um, started around 1940s I'm not mistaken so dia banyak position juga one of it yang selalu I suruh patient buat is in a bridging position baring lipat dia dudutut macam kangkang sikit try untuk kemut punggung and then angkat so it's called bridging and it's called kegels you can tahan for 5 second or 10 and then baru turun it, banyak lah parameters sebenarnya and other than that that we actually have macam vaginal cones which is an instrument or a tool that you need to insert dalam through the vagina and then suruh dia kemut so bila kemut dia akan strengthenkan janganlah geli-geli it happens <laughs> so it is a real thing usually physio akan uh, train supaya boleh tolonglah untuk incontinence untuk prolapse untuk painful urination anything like that so kegels is a very effective exercise untuk women who suffers from incontinence and so on and so forth. Bye!